There's now a petition to try and get Tom Perez removed as the head of the DNC. Humanist Report tweeted this yesterday. I want to show everybody here. So, um, here's why this needs to happen. With Tom Perez leading the DNC, they're not even trying to put forward the appearance of neutrality anymore. It's beyond obvious that he's not neutral. I mean, he literally just came out and endorsed Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo is the establishment candidate for New York governor. Uh, Cynthia Nixon is the left-wing candidate. You can't say you're going to be neutral and then endorse Andrew Cuomo. That makes no sense. And in reality, what it shows is Tom Perez is a bitch to the corporate wing of the Democratic Party. He's a bitch to the likes of Andrew Cuomo and Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, and he's there to do their bidding. That's why he, that's ha why he was put in that position. That's why he was put there. So his whole job is to do their bidding. So there's a rigid hierarchy in the Democratic Party. And we know who's calling the shots. And he's a little bitch boy and he's serving them. That's what it is. Now, furthermore, the DNC is suing WikiLeaks. Now, I don't give a shit what your personal opinion on WikiLeaks or Julian Assange is. Perhaps you don't like them. Perhaps you don't like WikiLeaks. Perhaps you think they acted in the last election as partisan actors and that that's unacceptable. You know what? Maybe you're right about that. I've spoken about how um, they should have also done leaks. I'm for the leaks on the DNC, 100%. I'm happy they released them. But I also think they should have done leaks on the RNC. And given the information that's out there right now, my guess is even if they had gotten leaks on the RNC, I'm not sure they would have released them. Because, you know, Julian Assange said that in his estimation, he thinks it's better if the Democrats lose. So, um, I don't agree with him. And I don't like that. And I wish there were also leaks on the RNC. There weren't. But put all, put all that aside, because that's irrelevant. The DNC suing WikiLeaks is one of the clearest examples of a crackdown on press freedom that I've ever seen in my life. That is deeply against the Constitution, deeply against the First Amendment, deeply against freedom of the press. Basically what they're saying is, we don't like what you leaked, therefore we're going to sue you over it. Imagine a system where anytime the government or government officials or establishment party officials don't like what the media reported, that they get to sue them. You don't see the fucking precedent you're setting, you jackass? How would you like it if Donald Trump or the Republicans get to sue any outlet that reports negative information on them? You don't like that now, do you? Well, that's the precedent you're setting, you idiot. So Tom Perez's DNC is suing WikiLeaks, which is a crackdown on press freedom. Worse than anything Trump's actually done. Worse than any policies he's taken on that front. He said some things that are deeply against the First Amendment. He hasn't taken policy action on that front. Tom Perez effectively is. He's a, a, a representative of the establishment wing of the party, and there is no neutrality. They did a Bernie Sanders purge recently where a lot of the top Bernie people were let go from the DNC. You're not even putting forward the appearance of neutrality, never mind actually acting neutral. So you know what the reality is? You gotta go. So I, I left the, um, the link in the video description box for that change.org petition to remove Tom Perez as the head of the DNC. Please go sign it. Let's flex some muscle here. Let's, let's get uh, our voices heard. And let's let everybody know that this is not okay. You know, I'm in favor of left-wing politicians being elected in every imaginable way. I don't care if you're going Green Party. I don't care if you're an independent. I don't care if you're in the Democratic Party. But to the extent that we, that we get in the Democratic Party... There's no hole in hand that's singing Kumbaya. It's a hostile takeover. We're going to force them to do what they need to do. Medicare for all, free college, living wage, so on and so forth. So that starts with Tom Perez is done. He's gone. So uh, link in the video description box. Have at it.